What's going on Yu-Gi-Oh! community? It's YGO Paladin coming to you with another video and today we're going to be busting open some Lightning Overdrive packs. So today is the premiere event at OTS stores. So I went to my locals, bought some packs here and I'm here to open them up. So for my locals as well, they do a, a scratcher prize where if you purchase some of these packs, you also get to do a scratcher and whatever you uh, scratch off is what you win. So what I won is a, another pack of Lightning Overdrive and an OTS 15 pack. So we're going to be busting that one open later at the end of the video, but we're going to be opening up uh, 11 packs of Lightning Overdrive. And you also get a field center of the Unutopia monster, which looks pretty cool. I like this too. It's a nice field center. Really neat. And Utopia, she's getting a lot of support in the future. We got the structure deck coming out. Uh, we don't know about the TCG release. We don't know if we're getting that in the TCG, although I kind of highly doubt it because of Dragoonity. But uh, we are getting some in the new upcoming Battles of Legends set. So that's actually pretty cool as well. So enough of that. Let's get to these 10 pack openings. So this is the pack I'm going to start with. This is the one that we won off the scratcher. So let's see what we can pull. Lightning Overdrive is it's a very meh set. But like I said, I wanted to help support locals. And I haven't done an opening in like a while. So let's see uh lightning overdrive packs here so let's let's go ahead and get straight to these cards i'm not gonna remember most of the names of this cards uh because i didn't really look too much at it. Uh, we got sky scourge we have the zexel alliance which is a new utopia card we have dark night oh sorry dark eyed nightmare that's what it's called and we have bujin bujin uh torfoon i can't remember the name of this but this is like the rescue rabbit of the archetype which is kind of cool honestly then we have uh forgotten phoenix i'm uh, sorry guardian sphinx this one is actually kind of interesting. I've been seeing a lot of talks about this card, and I'm kind of wondering if this will play in uh, anything, honestly. Then we have the Amazement cards that are actually in here as well. Then we have World Sword. So that was our Scratcher pack. So let's get into the 10 packs that we purchased uh, for our opening. So the Amazement seem kind of interesting. I know some people call them kind of like Ultra guys, which is kind of true in some sense. Oh, there we go. We got I Met You. Kind of, uh, I'm sorry, I Meet You. I'm kind of disappointed this is not an ultra rare. I kind of was hoping these Attic Nister cards would be a little bit higher rarity, but it's not. So we got another one of th that card. I can't remember the name. I apologize. Then we got new Springins. That's right. I forgot. We got new Springins in an XC's monster. Judgment of the Branded, which I believe is the next of the Albaz archetype, the whole lore behind it. So I believe that. Oh, we got the Plunder. Oh, speaking of Springins, then we got the XC's monster. Um, I can't remember what this one actually does, but there's the effect in case you guys want to read it, but I think it's actually kind of good. Then we got the new Ponder Control card. I'm surprised this was not ultra rare as well, just because they might want to stick to them being ultra rares, you know, most of the time. So yeah, at least it's affordable. Then we have the Amazement Trap card. We have you and I, another comment, and we got another one of the springs. You know what? Let me uh, sort out the uh, supers. Uh, I forgot to do that. Let me sort those out right there. So that that is it for that pack let's get into pack number three here hopefully we can pull a secret rare that'd be really cool if we can pull a secret rare or better starlight i would love to pull a starlight rare we got uh spriggan's brothers uh demari attic nister really cool i do like that they made an, uh, an actual version of i from the anime he's now a card that's kind of cool we got sky scourge and then we have dogmatic calamity dogmatic calamity <laughs> Then we have Thrawn, the, the Discipline of Angel. This is a TCG exclusive card, so that's kind of cool. Then we got this new Pendulum card, which is basically for Monarchs. This is interesting. I'm pretty sure we're going to see some play with this card and Monarchs coming back, maybe. Especially since they got a new TCG exclusive card in here as well. Then we have War Rocks. Eh, they should have been a little bit better. But who knows, maybe the OCG will step in to save the archetype. Then we got the uh basil uh rose shoot which is kind of nice uh, i was surprised that one's not at least super rare i think this would have popped more if it was a super rare but war rocks yeah they need like ocg to step in like they did for sub terrors and spirals like ooh. <laughs> that'd be interesting if they make a card that completely busts the archetype like out of nowhere then we got scrap raptor which i'm surprised is not a secret rare but that just might be a hint that it's going to get hit in any future list so makes sense then we have sun avalon we got the new uh more uh imports in here another one of the attic nisters we have s force dog tag then we have ooh trap tricks uh vaseline vaseline i don't really know the name of this one but this one's actually pretty cool uh cool extender for the archetype and it's an ultra rare so nice we did pull an ultra rare that's pretty cool so i'm gonna put that off to the side then we have judge of the ice barriers which does not help ice barriers at all then we have star mine 
another Bujin, which is based off Maximilian Pegasus. I think that's actually really neat. Then uh, Sun, uh, Sun, oh, Sunvine Crossbreed. I forget, Sun Avalon's the monsters and Sunvine, right? Sunvine is the spells, I think, most of them. I, th I think most of them are. So now we have a uh, Starry Night Seal. I forgot Starry Night was actually in here. Then we have DD, the Super Sight King Zero Maxwell. Is this an import? Yeah, it's an import. Okay. Oops, I spoiled that one already, huh? Amazement Special Show. Uh, oh, One Curry Way. I forgot that's in here. I actually like the artwork of that. Then we have Ida the Sun Magician as our super rare. Uh, I don't even know that one. Uh, Guardian Sphinx, World Soul, and Screams of the Branded. So we got six more packs. Let's see if we speed this up a little bit. Because I know you guys are probably want to get straight to the hollows. Oh, another Scrap Raptor. That's pretty cool. Sun Avalon Delphi. Demir Attic Mister. Is this the same pack? And then, ooh, that is awesome. We have Rudy Rose Dragon. Uh, that's, a, that's just regular secret, right? I'm making sure because it looks kind of weird. But Rudy Rose Dragon. Man, this thing looks really neat. So that, that is the secret rare. That is our secret rare. I got to find a sleeve to put into that. Oh, thank you, Yu-Gi-Oh gods. <laughs> Egyptian gods. So uh, moving on, we got the Guardian Sphinx. Ooh, the ZS Arm Sage. I really want to pick up the Utopia cards. I had a test playing them online, especially with the new structure deck coming out. Again, we don't know when in the TCG, but it's actually a pretty fun deck to play. Too bad I can't play most of the matches because people kind of get mad that I take a long time, even though they're playing freaking Dragon Links, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it's fun. I like the archetype. I like the new support. Hopefully the next few cards are even better because that'd be amazing. Oh yeah, Paleozoics. I forgot they have a Link monster. I thought they did. I just couldn't remember if that was in a core booster set or in a side set. Uh, we have the, uh, no, the DDD. I don't know what this card is. This a, uh, oh no, it's actually a core card. Okay. Then we have an amazement card. And, ooh, Tri Brigade, a uh, Barrel Bloom. So I'm actually surprised this card was not secret rare as well, but it's actually pretty cool for budget players <laughs> that want to play the archetype so they don't have to keep spending on secret rares. But we do have um, the Mega Tins coming out, so they're probably going to reprint those cards as well. But it's it's cool. You know, they didn't, they didn't put it as a secret rare, which I was kind of expecting them to, but it's neat that they did not do that. Now we have Boo Boo Game. <laughs> I mean, okay. Then we have uh, the Dogmatic card, whatever it's called. Oh, Zexo Weapon Pegasus Twin Saber cool i thought that was a super rare oh i challenge you i do like the artwork of that just i against playmaker that's, that's kind of cool and as for other card we have oh garden rose flora yeah so that's kind of cool i'm pulling the rose cards here and we got another one of the bujin sunvine and fubuki i think and the guardians okay so we got three more packs i really like that rose dragon that's really cool so we got s force dog tag one curry way dark eyed night dark eyed nightmare sorry uh terror of the underroot which is a tcg exclusive card kind of seems interesting i don't know if we'll see any play of this but maybe someone could take it in and try to disrupt some plays here then we have oh amazement attraction horror house ultra rare also we pull two ultra rares cool that's nice so amazement i think has potential especially with the new support that's coming out i believe it's special summons itself from the hand or no well, Oh, it does something. I can't remember exactly what it does, actually. But I, I think it kind of helped the archetype a little bit. But who knows? Maybe somebody will come up with a busted way to make the deck actually really good and playable. And it, it's just a matter of time, you know? I, I expect that to happen. But who knows? Who knows? We got the Paleozoic Link Monster. The DDD import. This guy. <laughs> the Amazement card. And we got uh, Pendra Sanction. I, I can't remember that. But this is a TCG exclusive. Yeah, it's a TCG exclusive card. And we got uh, some more of these cards. Okay, so last pack for Lightning Overdrive. What could we go with here? I uh, Starlight Rare? Starlight? Another Secret Rare? That'd be really cool. So let, let's see, let's see. We got Springin' Brothers. Keeping it this way so I don't accidentally s slip the cards. Uh, Damari Addict Lister, the Sky Scourge, uh, Chit Heels, Chit Heels, the Dogmatic, the Dogmatic card, and uh, we got Amazement Family Faces. So that is it for our mostly our pack opening, and we pulled another one of those. So that's it for the Lightning Overdrive. So let's get into the uh, OTS 15 pack. Could we pull an ultimate rare? Could we please pull an ultimate rare? It's been a while since I opened one of these, so I, I hope we could pull one. That'd be really neat. But let's see what happens here. We have Rank of Magic, the seventh one. I actually don't even remember what's in this set. 
uh, Vampire Domain and a uh, crossover. Uh, that's unfortunate, but that is going to wrap it up for the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy this, and please hit the like button if you did. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos, and let me know what your favorite card is in this set. Uh, I, I do like the Utopia cards. I feel like they're going to go up in value when the new stuff comes out, and yeah, I'm not going to show the hollows because, well, you guys got to watch the video for that. So, uh, you know, let me know what your favorite card is in here and what you're most looking forward to pulling from here, whether it's for a premiere event or if you're going to buy boxes in the future next week when they come out. Uh, let me know in the comments section. I would be love to read those. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.